let's look at using yum for installing, updating, or removing packages. So yum is a very useful tool. It's the front end for the RPM command. So here we have a CentOS 7 machine. If I wanted to install the Emacs editor, now no one should really install Emacs, but I have a kind of an Emacs addiction. So if I wanted to install the Emacs editor, I could install the package. First, with yum, I can do a search. I search for Emacs, and now this is a keyword search. It will try to find Emacs in the name of the package or in the description, and it may or may not find it. Um, you can see right here, there's a bunch of Emacs things. We don't know exactly which package will give me Emacs, but my guess is right here, the Emacs package right here will give me the Emacs editor. You can see the Emacs package name. You can see right here the architecture it comes with. And you can also see the description for the Emacs editor. All right, so now I'm going to install the Emacs editor. So I do a yum install Emacs. This will go ahead and download and install the package. So I say yes. I get all those packages downloaded. And it takes a little bit of time for the Emacs because it has a lot of dependencies. Yum is nice in that it takes care of dependencies for you. This can be great, but then you might run in a situation where you have dependencies, but you don't have a program anymore. And we'll look at that in just a moment. All right, once it downloads all the packages, it installs them. And here we go, it's done. Now I can use Emacs. Well, what if I decide later, I really don't like Emacs. I want to install VI. Well, VI is already on here, and Nano is already on here, so I have other editors. But if I want to get rid of the Emacs package, I can use either the remove or erase commands. So I do yum erase Emacs, or I can do yum remove Emacs. So let's do yum remove Emacs. So now I uninstall Emacs, and you can see that it only uninstalled one package. Well, what about all these other packages on my system? I've probably also done lots of updates to my system, and so there's all these packages on here that I don't need anymore. So I can get rid of them. So I can do a yum auto remove. This will search through all of my packages I have installed and try to figure out which packages don't need to be there anymore. So this would be all the packages that were installed automatically by other packages that are no longer here and it'll be packages that I did not specifically install myself. These are kind of the leaf node packages. So I do yes and I can install them. Um, you run the risk of having some package be removed that you might need, but it does tend to clear things up pretty good. Uh, if I wanted to reinstall Emacs, I do it yum install Emacs. And once again, it has to grab all these packages all over again. Now, in the process of doing updates and installs, when I install packages, it will automatically update some packages that are dependencies. So if particular versions are needed, yum will take care of automatically updating all the packages that are required to be updated. And once you have it all installed and updated, you can start using the package. If you want to update your entire system, you can type in the yum update command and it will update everything. So let's go ahead and do that now that Emacs is almost done being installed. It takes a moment. All right, so if I do a yum update, it will check through my entire system, find every package that needs to be updated and it will tell me which ones need to be updated. So it says that I have to install 14 new packages because I have new dependencies. And I basically have to upgrade 710 packages. So I need to make a decision. Do I really want to do this? Do I want to download 783 megabytes or not? And then the options here are you can do yes for download and install them, D for just download them and don't install them, and N for no, I don't want to. So, nope. If I want to then later do my transaction, my transaction was saved, 
and I can load the transaction and rerun it with this command right here. That will do the update. It doesn't have to reprogram everything. Anyway, that's how you update, install, and remove packages using Yum.